High school football now. Junior quarterback Dylan Card has led Verndale to its best start since 2009. Yesterday, Shane Lee visited a Pirates practice to learn more about Verndale's big-time quarterback. The Verndale Pirates are 3-0 and have outscored their opponents 128-31. Junior quarterback Dylan Card accounts for 84 points with 8 rushing touchdowns, 4 throwing touchdowns, and 6 two-point conversions. It's all about winning for me. It's not about the individual stuff. I not really big on that kind of stuff. At six foot four, 210 pounds, Card is not your average high school quarterback. The 4.0 grade point average student shows off his brain with his brawn. He's had plays where it's been a pass play and he's read it right and turned it into a 40 or 50 yard touchdown run. Card ran for 108 yards in week one and 193 yards in week two. And as though he doesn't cover enough ground on offense, he plays defensive end or linebacker on the other side of the ball. Somehow the team rarely thinks about Card getting tired. Oh, it's once in a while you do, but uh, you know, you say you get in the game and you think, well, we're not going to have him run the ball that much, and then the game's done, and all of a sudden he's got 35 carries. We like to pound it down people's throats, but I feel like if we have to, we can, we can throw the ball, and that's my favorite, but we, uh, we just do what coach tells us to do. Card and the Pirates are very capable of passing. On the season, the quarterback has completed 22 of 29 passes for 299 yards and four touchdowns. Mike Malin has coached the Verndale football team for 45 years, and he says Dylan Card's the best all-around quarterback he's ever had. He's been a leader for us for three years, and uh, I guess the best thing, he leads by example. I really focus on team goals, and obviously for our team, it's to win a state championship. Only time will tell if a nine-man state championship is in the cards. Shane Lee, Lakeland News. Dylan Card and the Pirates return to action Friday night at Hillcrest Lutheran Academy. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.